everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 5 of the yellow generation of the not so berry challenge. If you are new here, welcome. I am so extremely stoked that you're here and if you like what you see today, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below because it super helps my channel and I would super appreciate it. Now today may be the yellow generation finale gang. Dory has pretty much completed everything she needs to complete with the exception of completing her aspiration which she is almost done. She just needs to master her logic skill and she needs to visit the secret lot in Oasis Springs. So I think that we can get both of those done today. So that is definitely something that we are going to work on and we are going to be working on some of Mercury's skills as well. She does now have a little sister, Saleh, who you see here playing chess with her mama. So I'm going to have Mercury do some parenting interactions with her and I think I may create a sort of karaoke group for her so she can sort of get her singing skill going. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff today. So as per usual, guys, sit back, relax, put those feet up, grab a blanket, grab a snack, grab a beverage, because we are gonna click play and we are going to see what the game has in store for us today. So I'm not sure why these two were up at 5 a.m. playing chess, but I'm not mad about it. Dory does need to reach level 10 logic and she is currently at level eight. And she's 38% of the way to level nine. So I think I'm gonna let these two sort of play it out here. She is very focused right now. So I'm gonna have her keep playing. Mercury is also awake and she is autonomously fixing the clothesline. So that's great. Nanny Warren says, terrific work on your homework, Soleil. Oh, that's fantastic. I've never seen that little interaction before. That's very cute. So Mercury is a little bit tired. I'm gonna have her pee, eat, and grab a little bit of sleep before school today. Dory's doing great work on that logic. She is now, over halfway to level nine. So we love that. She does have to pee soon though, but I'm going to let her do all that. The so Warren decided that he wants to play chess with Dory, which is fantastic. They're having a nice little chat here, which is very nice. Maybe she's thanking him for stepping up, practicing football with Mercury, which is great. Girl, I got to get you to stop and go take care of your needs real quick. Oh, Dory actually does have work in half an hour also. So she's going to go ahead and get ready for the day. Dory, is a focused queen. She is on her way to work. Maid is here, which is great because this house is a hot mess, you guys. It looks like she's also pregnant, which is super cute. We love that. She's all done. $54. Not bad. Not bad. Dory needs a new challenge at work. How does she ask the boss? I feel like she would demand a challenge. And she got some medium performance gain. Outstanding. Belay is getting a phone call at school from Nanny Newton saying congrats on your birthday. That is the most Nanny Newton thing. These kids are just so tired. I'm going to have both of the girls just go to bed. Maybe grab a quick snack and grab some food. Dory is home and she's earned a raise again. She is just on top of it. She also just needs to go get some rest. She is exhausted. The Berry girls have their schedules all kinds of twisted. Nanny Warren, what are you doing upstairs when Dory's sleeping? That's a little weird, buddy. I'm not going to lie to you. Dory, get under your blankies, girly. Nanny Warren is going through something. He's just crying at this computer. No clue what's going on. I'm going to get Mercury out of bed because she needs to eat and have a bath. She's a little grungy and then she's She's got to get her homework done as well. She's also got some period cramps going on, which we don't love for her. I'm going to get Soleil up as well. Get her to do her homework. We'll practice her vocabulary since it does help with her creativity. Looks like there's a little friend here visiting Soleil. Maybe a friend from school. They're going to sit here and do their homework, which is really cute. We could try to cheer them up a little bit. Mercury, my girl, I'm going to get you to go practice your singing a little bit when you're done washing your hands. Look at her go. What an angel. I'm going to get... Dory up and I'm going to get her to come over here and go play some more chess. We have to get that logic up you guys. She is very focused so we're going to get that going. Lele is just about done her homework. Good job girly. She's getting a little cold though so I'm going to let her in. She also wants to use the workout machine and she also wants to chat with Chandler. Who the hell is Chandler? Chandler is a young adult though. I don't know how you know her but I mean uh, okay. Maybe we'll just uh, have a chat on the phone. 
but I guess they want you to chat in person. So that's fine. It's too late for them to actually hang out in person. So she's going to grab some food real quick and then I'm going to have her work out. And Dory's reached logic level nine. Yes, we're almost there, you guys. Outstanding. Someone is at the door. This is a teen, so it's got to be one of Mercury's friends. Yeah, this is Callie. Okay, what's up, Callie? She's high maintenance and jealous. Okay, very good. I think she just hissed. I think she's also a vampire, so that's great. So I'm going to have my girl come over here and work out. We will get that whim out of the way. Dory is still going strong here on the chest. She's getting a little bit hungry, though, but she's doing great. She is 21% to being done. The lay has gone back to bed. Outstanding. Callie's coming to hang out in the back here. What's up, girl? Callie is one of the teens that I made over recently doing a bunch of makeovers off camera. I think she's so cute. As far as Mercury's aspiration goes, she does need to jog for another hour. So that's great. We can easily get that done. So that whim is out of the way. That's fantastic. And then she wants to go for a jog, which is great because we actually need to do that. So go ahead and go for an energized jog, queen. Off you go. Dory, how we doing? I'm going to get you to go a little longer. I'm going to go until you're in the red for hunger, I think. All your other needs look really good. And you have four days off. So you're in a good place right now. Mercury's already fitness nine. That's crazy. And now she wants to play some basketball. So why don't we go ahead and have her shoot some hoops here? Dory is so close, you guys. She is officially over halfway there. I am going to get her to stop for right now, though, because she does need to take care of her needs. And Mercury, you need to eat and go to bed because you do have school in the morning, okay? She also wants to get to know her mom. Isn't that so sad that she like doesn't really know her mom very well because her mom is like never around? So Dory, go ahead, grab some food, girl. Why don't we go ahead, wash our face, brush your teeth, and go grab some sleep, okay? Okay, so it is time for school. So let's go ahead and go with her to school today. And this, <laughs> this loading screen is so good. How do you not love a dancing bone, Hilda? All right, we are here and we are in a blizzard, you guys so she does need to perform a t-pose challenge i'm gonna have her come in though because it's absolutely freezing outside she is feeling particularly flirty as well because her crush is nearby wait who i don't know what crush is nearby but she's here to chat with adriel his hands excuse me they're singing together i don't think these two have any sort of relationship here oh they are each other's crushes but she finds it very un attractive so i mean i don't know why let me go on a cast guys because i'm gonna go give this guy a makeover real quick look at this random custom content on this guy oh my god okay the skin details are insane okay my boy you need some help okay let's fix those eyebrows please and i'm gonna give you some brown eyes as well okay there you go actually let me see your parents what color eyes does your mom have um and she's got blue eyes so i'll give you some sort of blue eye to kind of match mums. We'll do something more like that. Your eyebrows to a bit more of a reddish color. For skin details, you guys know I have to do Remusarian every single time. It's just too good. It's just too good. So he has the Zen Guru aspiration. He is pure and he is excitable. Okay. I'm going to give him this half up, half down situation. And I'm also going to give him a chin as well. And maybe just some eyelashes and stuff. I think that'll do just fine. So let's pop him back in. All right. So it's time for her to get to class. Looks like she's got an exam also. Where the heck are you going? Girl, get over here. Oh, come take your exam. Get over here. All right. She's done her first class. She's going to go ahead and go to the bathroom. I don't know where Adriel went after I gave him his makeover. He kind of disappeared. Who is this? Aiden. Okay, calm down, sir. Can you calm down? My word. You are scaring the faculty. Come get some lunch, girl. Adriel's here. Let's see if her attractiveness changes at all. No, still very unattractive, but she has a crush on him for some reason. But maybe, you know, looks aren't everything to her, you know? Maybe there's something about him that she likes. He is pure, you know? He's excitable. He's a peaceful dude. I'm gonna have them come talk a little bit. Our friend Deidre is here too, which is pretty cool. Adriel show signs of the innocent personality type. Innocent Sims positivity and happiness has a great power to uplift others, but they can appear very childish. Okay. So I think that maybe she likes that about him, which is kind of cute. Let's whisper about crush. Who the hell do you have a crush on? This is going to drive me nuts. Okay, she needs to study for an exam. Our teacher just let one rip. <laughs> 
And she does have football practice today too. So that's fantastic. She had a rough exam day. That's not great, but she does have prom. Maybe she'll ask Adriel the prom. That would be kind of cute. These two are going to sit and chat together. Maybe you can ask him about woohoo. Maybe we can ask to prom. Let's see what he says. Ask him to prom girl. Oh, she's going to football. No, she's feeling really flirty and happy about making a new friend. And she has a sim nearby who she feels in tune with. And her period's got her feeling a little aroused. So that's great. She is at football. I'm going to have her practice very hard. Why don't you be aggressive, girl? Dory, where are you? You are focused, which means it's chess time, baby. Off you go. Soleil, let me take a look at your aspiration, honey. You need to have an activity table and draw two pictures. So let me perhaps get you one of those and we can have you do some activities here. Also going to get rid of the high chair that's in here because we don't need that anymore. All right. So here's an activity table and she needs to draw two pictures while inspired. So I might just have her go draw some shapes. Oh, she can't get to it there. Hold on. Let me fix. There, we'll just put it like that for now. Okay. So Dory is having a cup of coffee, which is fantastic. Mercury got promoted to the team football captain. Yes. Fantastic, Mercury. That's so good. She is so tired though. Go wash your stinky ass, grab some food, and then straight to bed, honey. Okay. Dory, you finish that coffee. What are your needs like, honey? Fantastic. Get your butt over here. Play some chess. Mercury is passed out. All right. She is off to bed. She is so tired. Soleil, why don't you get down here, girl? Put your little picture over here. Very cute. Dory, oh my God. You are so close, girl. We are so close. Oh my God. 87%. You got this queen. You got this queen. She's literally playing chess with the coffee mug stuck to her hand. You know what? I love that for her. That's great. Oh my gosh. She did it. You guys, our aspiration has been achieved. Yes. She can now instantly fix and upgrade objects unbelievable so good okay girl you're good there you're good there go pee and go to bed honey you did fantastic okay soleil you just need to go ahead and go to bed girl oh you're already on top of it okay no don't nap please don't nap just get under your blankets and sleep okay good girl and we'll put her little picture over here too very cute so upon reflection you guys i'm gonna go ahead and not send her to prom because we went last time and it was kind of a bust but what i am gonna do is create a karaoke club i'm gonna call it the karaoke crew um let's do any karaoke bar that's great we'll do a little music symbol um for age right now we're just gonna do teens and our activities will be singing you put be friendly on there that's nice I think that's good. So let's invite some friends here. We'll invite Deidre, Adriel, of course. Allie can come. Maybe Hannah. So many Volkovs. Holy moly. They're taking over my save file, you guys. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and do that. Karaoke crew is made. So maybe that'll be our Saturday event that we do here. Dory is awake. Hello, queen. She still has that cup. Girl, let me debug you, please. Okay, hold on. A hold on. Let me just reset you. Okay, go grab some proper food without a cup in your hand. Okay, queen, go on. Isn't that so much easier? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Life is good. Life is good, Dory. All right, Dory, you finish that. And then we're going to go, I think, to the park. You decided she wants to practice football with Mercury. That's exciting. Please don't kill your mother. She got a green football. That's so cool. Oh, it's the gold one from being the captain. Oh, you just pelted the, <laughs> just pelted the shit out of your mother, Mercury. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, good catch, queen. Good catch. Hey, take it easy on your mom. She's old. Holy. Dory is so proud. Oh, good catch, mama. Good catch. All right. Great job, guys. Mercury is done. Okay, very good. He is thinking about Grandma Minzy right now. My God. She's like spending time with her daughter and then she thinks about her grandma because her grandma spent time with her. That was a really cute moment. So I'm going to take this opportunity to travel to the secret lot. I'm pretty sure I can access it via the park here. All right, we are at Pirate Park and here is the secret lot. Okay, Dory, come over here and break it open, queen. Oh, there's eyeballs in there. That's not creepy at all. Ah, <laughs> it's so scary. All 
All right, guys, she's coming up on it. Here we go. The last task for our yellow gen. Get off your phone, you psychopath. All right, my handy queen. Here we go. Very exciting stuff, gang. All right, she's gone over and busted the door. The door has been busted open. Let's explore. Oh, in she goes. Bye, Dory. Dory, ever the intrepid explorer, sets out to spelunk the cave. There are two pathways. The narrower of the two is a bit stalactite. I see what they did there. Stalactite, very funny, Sims. But Dory, stalagmite fit if she squeezes. Okay, let's take the narrow path. The dark, winding fissure proves too difficult to navigate, and she quickly becomes stimmied and frustrated. Okay, so it's not the narrow path. We have to take the wide path. No need to try something dangerous. Dory creeps down the main branch and spies through the dim remaining light. A switchback headed gradually up and a rickety ladder headed down. Ah, uh, climb the ladder? Dory carefully plunges into a black abyss, groping her way along splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts to fill the expanse below. You can step off onto a dim mossy precipice or continue into the blue. Uh, let's keep climbing. Oh, okay, that wasn't the right one. Okay, so now we know what to do. Wide path, climb the ladder, step onto the ledge, travel to the grotto. Yes! She is here, you guys. She has done it. What is this? Look for frogs. Okay. Found a sunflower frog. There's a random toilet here. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this toilet. Just to say, you know, we took a piss in a cave. That's one way to flex on them, girl. This place is so cute. Look at there's some... What's this? Oh, it's an onion plant. You go catch a fishy? You look for more frogs? Seems to be some stuff here. Sage. You can dig that. Another potato plant. Mushrooms. Lilies. Can dig that, dig there, look for more frogs. I guess that's all she can really do. I mean, this place is really pretty though. I mean, look at that. So nice. A whole vibe. You found a digital camera? Cool. She's embarrassed from neighborhood exploration. What would think it'd be difficult to get lost in a mystical location? What would be shamefully wrong? <laughs> Tori. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, I'm going to get her to stop fishing and go collect everything she needs to collect here. Collect your froggies, Dory. Well, she has a treasure map. Very cool. Another treasure map. Okay. You can dig there. All right, so she found a time capsule. Look at all the stuff you have in here. You got stuff from Sixum in here. Very cool. She has pictures of her mom and grandma in here. So cute. All right, let's open this up. All kinds of crystals, some frogs. All right, cool. All right, honey, you did it. Let's head home. All right. Hey guys, so she is back home. We're gonna go ahead and send her to the bathtub. Mercury, what are you doing? You're chatting away. That's good. Why don't we do some parenting with our sister here? That'd be nice. The only thing I can do with her right now is put her to bed. We don't want to do that at all. Maybe we can throw some confetti, teach a valuable lesson. We can talk about the piano. We can share our New Year's excitement. Ask about her day. Discuss color theory with her. Talk about social media. Teach her how to be careful on that social bunny. And then we'll give her a nice big hug. We'll have Dory clean this up. Have a little sisterly moment, you two. Aw, very cute girls. Very cute girls. So let's have each of them make a resolution. Dory, why don't you go ahead and make a resolution to... Let's do raise a skill. That makes sense for you because you are an overachiever. Oh, Mercury, you're so cute. I'm going to have you also make a resolution, my girl. And I'm going to have you get a significant other because you do need to have three failed relationships. Adriel wants Mercury to be best friends. Yes, of course. You couldn't have come at a better time. We're looking for a boyfriend. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm going to get Soleil to also make a resolution. I'm going to have her uh, become a better student. I'm going to have Mercury go ahead and share a resolution with Adriel. Be like, listen, I have this plan to get a boyfriend this year. We're going to flirt with Adriel a little bit. Seems like he was feeling it, but he's talking about death right now. So that's a little weird. He was just joking. Let's boast about messing around. Maybe we'll ask if he's single. Adriel is single. Now, Soleil is inspired, so I need her to come draw like right now. Come on, Soleil. Good girl. Mercury, come talk to this man. He is feeling so flirty. Let's compliment his appearance. They got a nice sentiment together, her and Adriel. That's really cute. All right, Mercury, let's go ahead and flirt with this guy. Talk about your favorite singers. I know that's not flirting, but you know, we have to create some friendship, okay? We can ask about his romantic interests. 
dates. Maybe we'll exchange numbers with him. We'll do a little bit more flirting, maybe a pickup line. Let's do it, let's do it. The rumors are true. Adriel wants to go to the prom with Mercury. I mean, I wasn't gonna go to prom, but I mean, okay. I guess we can go together. That's cute. They now have a romance bar. Okay, uh, very cute. Okay, before we go any further, I wanna make sure he has a formal outfit because I don't wanna waste all of prom redressing this man. Let me dip into create as him. I'm just gonna give him a nice formal Formal outfit here. There we go. That's perfect. And I might even just keep his vans on because why not? I'm a dummy and I put that on his every day. I'm going to go back in here. I'm just going to give him that right there and switch his every day back to what it was. All right. Spectacular. Slay. How are we doing, honey, on that? You got to do another picture. No, resume your shapes. Resume your shapes. You got to do this one more and then you're done. All right. We have to travel to prom with Mercury. Let's do it. Okay. Here we are. Okay, so for some reason, we're not in our dress. And where is our date? Our date is here, spectacular. So let's first of all, change our outfit here. We do wanna put our formal attire on. Why don't we go ahead and grab a slow dance with our date? Stop putting your damn winter clothes on before I lose my mind. Thank you. Look how cute that is. Oh my God, they look adorable. Get out of here. That was cute. All right, she's going to grab some punch. Very sweet. Gonna go have a seat and grab her punch. She's going to get her groove on. Look at her. I'm gonna have her go ahead and take some photos with her date. Take a romantic photo with Adriel. Off you go, girl. She's feeling so confident right now too. Yes, girl. All right, off they go. The award ceremony is starting, but we don't care. We're gonna get our photos taken. And let's go ahead and take a friendly one with him as well. And then we'll take a funny one with them as well. So the award ceremony is done. They're gonna go grab another few pictures here. Making memories. <laughs> Very cute, guys. Very cute. I'm gonna get her to grab a little bit of food too because she's feeling pretty hungry right now. Let's keep this party going. Do you want to come for the after party? Yeah, okay. So it looks like we're over here at the pier, which is very cool. Mercury, why don't you come over here and sing, girl? Come over here and sing. Do it, girl. Do it, girl. Oh my God, she is so bad. <laughs> she is having a great time. <laughs> She's so close to hitting her next level that I'm just gonna let her keep embarrassing herself. Oh gosh, she sounds so bad. Oh my goodness. She's getting some tips though. She, she's got the entrepreneur skill now, which is great. Good for you, girl. Oh, she's level three. Okay, good girl. I think these two are about to have their first kiss, you guys. Oh my goodness. There they go. Oh my goodness, Mercury. Oh, <laughs> oh, so sweet. Oh, okay, you two, calm down. Holy. And she had a really nice first kiss. That's so cute. Good for you, girl. She ordered some food, which is very nice. Dory had a successful New Year's Eve. Same with Mercury, which we love. Oh boy, you two. They are like kind of into each other, which is great. Who is she getting a phone call from? Wait a minute. Wait, how did Anna die? Anna's, what? How? No way. Anna passed away? I need to figure out how that happened. That's crazy. Now she has a fear of death. Let's discuss our fears with Adriel here. It's almost Mercury's birthday. Oh my God. It's all happening so fast. Okay. It is 3 a.m. Girl, you're exhausted. I need you to go home, okay? We weren't even going to go to prom, but I think it was pretty successful. With, you know, with the exception of Anna dying. That's weird. All right. Girly is home. She has to pee and go to bed. She is feeling all kinds of flirty though, guys. But she does have a looming dread from a fear of death. We don't love that for her. And Mercury's pounding coffees, but I'm just going to get her to go to bed. Go to sleep, girl. I know you had a great night out, but you need to go to bed. And Soleil, it is literally five in the morning. What are you doing? Just go to bed, girly. Dory, why don't you go ahead, pee, eat, and you can also probably afford to get a little bit of sleep. Dory decided she wanted coffee instead. She really doesn't want to go to bed. So I'm going to have her replace the water in the laundry here. Maybe I'll have her do a little bit of housekeeping. We will have her search these pockets and then wash the clothes. And it's the first day of spring. That's fantastic. And my girl wants to read something. She wants to listen to spooky music and she wants to discuss her fears of death. 
I'm also gonna cancel this holiday. Not in the mood to do a holiday right now. I'm gonna have Soleil come talk to her mom a little bit. I'm hoping that Dory can maybe discuss fears with her daughter. Yeah, she can. Okay, let's go ahead and have a little chat. Oh, Soleil being a good little bean. We love that. And she's levitating. That's great. All right. These two are gonna have a nice little chat. Very sweet. Soleil being an absolute angel. Aw. Okay, Dory, why don't you come over here and hang up the laundry, please? Then you can replace the water here. Soleil really just wants to read a book, so I'll just have her go read something. She does love her books, this child. Dory, what would you like to do? You also want to read something and listen to spooky music. I'll also have you read something. Family of scholars. She also needs to repair the toilet. She can insta repair. Yay. And Mercury wants to use the workout machine and play an instrument. Okay. So maybe we'll have her jam out a little bit here. Go practice your guitar a little bit, girly. I hate that the socks in this game do this. Like this creeps me out so bad. I actually hate this. Adriel wants to go to prom. We already did that. No need to be mad. Okay. We already went to prom. Okay. We don't need to do that again. We don't need to do that again. We will do a few more flirty interactions here. Oh my God, Soleil is inspired again. Okay, Soleil, Soleil. Wee woo, wee woo. Get over here and draw. Go on, girl. <gasps> Adriel wants to take this to the next level and will Mercury be his girlfriend? Yes. And she nailed her resolution, which is great. Okay. She also stinks, girl, please. Please go take a bath, okay? I'm gonna have Soleil finish up her picture. Actually, when is Mercury's birthday? How soon is it? Two more days, okay. Adriel's cleaning up for us. We absolutely love that. He just walked into the bathroom while she's in the bath. Like, no big deal. Okay, fantastic. Adriel's hanging out with her baby sister, which is so cute. So Soleil, you need to achieve level five creativity and play with three toys. So what I'm gonna do is have you just keep making some crafts, girl. Okay, that was easy. So now you're level Level five and we need to play with some toys. So what I will do is actually have you finish that, but I'm going to go ahead and get the club going here. Let's gather at a karaoke bar. This is gonna be a Sunday activity and hopefully we can really get our singing skill up. Okay, here we are at Planet Honey Pop and we have one Sim who is currently living in CC Hell. So let's get rid of all of this stuff here. You are unstable, humble, and a musical genius. Okay, look at this. Green eyebrows, everything. Okay, there we go. Let's fix you up, girl. Eyebrows first. Let's give you some skin details here. I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna give you the Cassie skin. Toss some eyelashes on you. Some lip gloss on. Some pores on. I'm gonna give you this nice braid. Give you different eyebrows too. Okay, Aurora, you're all done, girl. All right, you guys. We are here and the club is in session. We're going to watch the karaoke together. And I think we're going to go ahead and sing a duet. Let's do it with Adriel. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy. She's been worse. Oh, Adriel is stagnant dog water, dude. <laughs> but they are having a lot of fun. This is so cute. Good for them. <laughs> Good job, guys. He's gonna bust out the guitar and just go. Why don't we go ahead and sing a duet? Let's do a pop duet with Callie. Grab your mic, girl. These two are cute. Callie's beautiful. <laughs> this is so funny. Callie's feeling her damn self. <laughs> Oh my god. They're both really bad, but I love this. I love this. Karaoke club, baby. Let's go. Good stuff, queens. Okay, you need to go pee. Allie and Aurora have the same shirt on, which I didn't realize. Awkward. All right, well, I'm gonna have her sing a solo this time, I think. Maybe we'll do rock. Let's do hotter than sin. Oh, never mind. Minerva stole the damn microphone. She's actually good. Okay, Minerva charm. Go off, girl. All right, who's this guy? This guy it's good too and it's karaoke contest night tonight guys that's so fun all right let's let's do it let's sing sing in the karaoke contest we're gonna have to wait until jet is all done let's watch this together though this guy is feeling himself i love it okay let's sing in the contest i need you to move jet get out of the way oh my god i am so proud of you mercury Listen to her. Thing girl. Thing girl. Feel your damn self.
Go, Mercury. Yes. Okay, queen. Good for you. 55 out of 100. Okay. Let's see how she did. She's going to come over here and talk to Aurora a little bit. The results are in and Berkeley won the contest. No way. <laughs> Congrats, queen. My singing angel. Why don't you come grab some food for everybody? Why don't we get a meat and cheese platter? So proud of you. She won the karaoke contest. Good girl. You guys can all come and grab some food. There you go, friendos. She is feeling so confident, you guys. I'm gonna have her come talk to Adriel a little bit. We can discuss our fears, have a deep conversation. Everyone's gonna come sit and have a little chat. It is getting kind of late though. It is a school night, you guys. Everyone's just helping themselves to meat and cheese. The karaoke bar is popping off, gang. Look at these two just hanging out. Boyfriend and buddy. We love that. It is getting super, super late, though. I'm going to have her wrap this up, and then we're going to head home. I think she had a pretty fun night out. Winning the karaoke contest. Yes, girl. So let's go ahead and end the gathering. Our boyfriend is helping us conquer our fears. We love that. All right, honey girl. Let's Let's go home. She is one confident queen, you guys. She's getting so good at singing. I love this for her. I can see her living in the city, karaoke bars, basketball courts, gyms, like it just suits her. And the city is like a gray jungle, right? It's like a concrete jungle, as they say. So I can definitely see her living here at some point. Maybe her first place will be here. Her mom is waiting up for her. She's like, it's 3 a.m. Where are you? Soleil, what are you doing up, girl? Oh, she was stung by a bee. Poor bean. You need to go grab some food. You have full energy, though. And she needs to play with three toys. So I think I might actually get rid of her activity table and get her like a toy box. Dory's hanging out while Mercury sleeps. <laughs> Poor Mercury can't go to bed. Dory, come watch TV over here. Let her sleep. It's almost Dory's time to make the most of these final days. No, no freaking way. No freaking way, dude. Mercury, go back to bed. Oh my God. I can't believe Dory's gonna go. No way. Like we finished her... <laughs> challenge like right on time. Mercury absolutely does not want to stay in bed. She does want to go for a jog though. So I'm going to let her eat. Her and her mom are going to have a nice little hug. That's very nice. She's eating the little rum balls that Nanny Newton made. So cute. They're going to have a nice little chat. I'm going to get her to clean out the food from her inventory and then I'm going to have her go jogging. Maybe drink some energy juice and then go jogging. Off she goes for her jog. I'm just going to clean this up here. I'm going to have Dory clean this out. I think I might have her make some breakfast for everyone. Soleil starting off her day by reading, of course. That girl loves to read. When does Soleil age up? That's gotta be soon, no? Oh no, Soleil's still got eight days. She's she's in a good place. Girls gonna go to school alone today. You guys have a good day. Dory is done the omelet. It looks great, darling. I'm gonna stick these leftovers in the fridge for you. And maybe we'll surprise Soleil with a new toy box for when she gets home from school today. I'm also gonna get Soleil to make friends at school today. Dory does have work today in two hours. Gonna do a little bit of cleaning up before she heads in. Lele's making some friends at school today. She met Gerald. Very cool. Dory's gonna start her morning off with some chess. Little pre-work activity for her. She's thinking about how much she loves to cook. I love that. Her grandma Minzy was an incredible cook. And she is off to work, gang. My hardworking queen. My clumsy hardworking queen. And here is our maid cleaning up the house for us while we're gone. Mercury met Kira while at school. Okay. The girls are home from school. Does Mercury have football today? She does in 25 minutes. So I need her to drink some energy juice and then pee and grab some food before practice. Maybe we'll have her grab some coffee as well. And Soleil, I'm going to have you play with a toy. There you go, girly. So cute. How cute is that though? I love this little animation with a little imagination going on. That's so sweet. Go ahead and practice hard, Mercury, my girl. You're so tired. That coffee did absolutely nothing for you. Lay is home alone, just babysitting herself. <laughs> I love that. Typical Dory fashion. All right, 
So she needs to play with three toys. Let's go ahead and play with another one. How about we do um, Mr. Blue Bear? Good stuff, girly. Dory is home. Welcome home, Dory. Why don't you go ahead and cook dinner for everybody? That sounds very good. Cook a gourmet meal. How about we do, ooh, butternut gnocchi. That sounds incredible. I actually had gnocchi for dinner today. It was so good. All right, Mercury is back from football. Guys, she is so damn tired. She's gonna go, <laughs> she's going straight for the coffee. Poor girl. This counter has seen better days, gang. Holy, come clean this up, Mercury. Do your mama a favor, okay? She's having a second cup. She's <laughs> just pounding back the caffeine. And I love that for her. Dory, let's go ahead and call everyone to come grab some food. I'll put the rest in the fridge for you guys. Now Mercury's got the mug stuck to her, just like her mom did. All right, Mercury, you clean up that mess, girl. Do not put them there. I hate when you guys do that. I will throw it out. Mercury, go to bed. Go to bed, girl. I'm actually gonna lock Mercury's door for everyone but her because people just love going in her room. Also, Dory's friend Cassandra's here. Hey, girl, why don't you invite your friend in? This is your high school buddy. Why do you guys go straight to the bathroom to talk? She's peeing standing up. Okay, I love that. I love that. Okay, Cassandra. Oh, Dory broke the sink. We can go ahead and instant repair that. Yes, okay. Delay, why don't you go ahead and write a book report, get that creativity up, and then you need to have a bath and then bedtime, okay? Mercury, you're fast asleep. That's great. Finally at a decent hour. Can we talk to Cassandra about our fears? We can, okay. Let's go ahead and have a chat with her. I gotta get Dory to vacuum. Dory does bunnies. They're so cute, I hate to see them go. Oh my God, and Dory conquered her fear of death. Finally, she has small existential relief from successfully discussing her fears. That is great. All right, girl, you go straight to bed. Get some sleep, honey. I finally have the whole house sleeping at a decent hour. That never happens. Mercury is gonna wake up though because her energy is maxed. It's 1.30 in the morning. I want her to sleep for as long as she possibly can. Trying to straighten out that sleep schedule a little bit. Celebrate Mercury's birthday by throwing her a birthday birthday party. Oh my goodness, girl. She is going straight to the workout machine here. I love that for her. Doing those leg extensions, queen. Getting those quads nice and pumped up. She's racking it too. She's doing the whole set of plates. Look at, she racked it, dude. She's a machine. Go off, girl. Okay. All right, she's doing them lap pull downs. Again, racking the machine. I love that for her. Good job, queen. Dory's awake. She's cleaning out the fridge here. I love of that. I'm gonna have her go ahead and search these pockets and do some laundry, I think. She does work today. The sun is barely out and Dory's already getting work done. Before Mercury ages up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go into the club settings and I'm gonna take the age requirement off because she is gonna age up into a young adult. Then I'm gonna have Dory make a birthday cake for Mercury here. We're gonna do a winter cake for her. I'm gonna send her to school alone today. We're where did you put that cake? I have no idea where she put that damn cake, you guys. It's a mystery. I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean out Dory's inventory here. I'm gonna pause because she does have to go to work. I'm gonna sell most of that stuff. And a lot of this stuff I am going to give to Mercury. I have no idea where the damn cake went and it's gonna make me insane. I'll have to have her make another one when she gets back because she is just about to head to work. And she is off. Bye, Dory. Have a good day, queen. The lady became a better student and got her grades up considerably. Great job. That's a resolution complete for her. Yes, girl. We love that. Okay. The maid is like, absolutely not again. Please, not again. Can you please invest in a washing machine? Please. Did Soleil invite over classmate Gerald? Yes, of course. This poor maid, she did not sign up for this. Soleil, I need you to play with one more toy. And then I think when Dory gets home, I think maybe we'll go for like a birthday dinner. And her milestone is complete. Yes, girl. And Mercury can graduate early. I've never done this before, so let's see how it goes. Are you sure? Graduating early will mean that Mercury will no longer be a student. They will be able to get a head start 
in an early career, but will not get to attend the graduation. Yeah, that's fine. Mercury has graduated high school early. She has shown such exemplary academics and extracurriculars that she earned her diploma while still being a teen. Awesome. Good for you, girl. So I think I'm going to get everyone to get ready to go out for dinner. Dory just needs to have a bath. Lele, you look good. You're just finishing up your homework. Mercury, you need to grab some food, which you're already doing. Maybe grab a quick cup of coffee for yourself. And I think we're going to take the whole family and we'll go out for a nice din din. I've got a restaurant right here in Oasis Springs we can go to. And we'll take Adriel, Nanny, Newton, Warren, Dory, and Soleil. I think that'll be a nice little birthday dinner. Oh, fancy. Everyone's in their formal attire. Except for you, Adriel. Did you not get the memo? Hold on. Hold on. Buddy, don't embarrass yourself like this. There we go. Okay. Very good. Warren, do you not have, do you not have a formal outfit, buddy? Let me see. Oh, you do. Okay. Change up, bud. Change up. There you go, snazzy man. Let's go ahead and request a table, please. Looks like we're going upstairs to sit. Place is swanky. Holy moly. Soleil's already here. <laughs> All right, everyone is here. Dory, why don't we go ahead and order for the table? This is so cute. Okay, let's get a glass of wine for the adults. I am going to age Adriel up. We'll just say he's an adult here. There we go. And I guess the only thing... <laughs> That little filet can have is water. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. And we'll start with an appetizer. Why don't we do ooh, world fruit charcuterie? That sounds so good. Okay, let's get that for everybody. Sounds delightful. I'm going to age Adriel up right now also. Victor Fang is our waiter. Outstanding. Okay, the order has been placed. I think Adriel's going to come over here and age up. There he goes. Good job, bud. All right. All right. Looks like the food is here. Oh, this looks great you guys fantastic Nanny Newton hates the food. Hilarious. She's trying to be so polite about it, though. This is cute. Dory really likes the food. We love that. The place is so fancy. All right, let's order the main course. Why don't we go ahead and get the trout Meunier for everybody? Maybe not for Soleil. Soleil might not like that. Why don't we just do a nice shepherd's pie for Soleil? All right, this main course is taking 10 years to come out, you guys. Are they even making it? Oh, is that ours? Is that our food? Please let that be our food. Is it ours? Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna have them bring the cake out. Let's bring out uh, a SimCity cheesecake, I guess. Oh, Dory aged up. Okay. <laughs> just before we brought the cake out. So she needs the bodybuilder aspiration and she does need to be a slob. So that is that. Everyone grab some cake. All right, everyone's going to eat their cake. It is literally 4 a.m. And then we got to get the hell home. Dory's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. No. Okay, I need to give all of this to Mercury right now before she dies. Oh, my God. All of Minzy's stuff. Oh, man. Actually, let's uh, let's open this. Give her a picture of Phoenix. Oh, God. Birth certificates. Minzy's satellite. Minzy's cloning machine. Give her the vacuum. <laughs> We can sell this. Okay. I think that's everything. Dory, why don't we go ahead and pay for the meal? You guys can go ahead and head home. She busted out the soccer ball. Like, Mercury, go home. Little weirdo. In your dress, no less. Finally, she's off. Go home, you little weirdo. Okay, so we are back. Like, she's already almost done this part of her aspiration, which is crazy. She's already reached her maximum body potential, and she's almost level 10. But what I'm going to get her to do is join her career, and she does does need to join the athlete career and she does need to work out as well so we got to get that started i'm going to have soleil actively participate in school today and dory oh my god <laughs> your name is glowing which means you're probably gonna die so soon i hate that so you work in three days so you need to get a workout in and you need to reach level 10 fitness so why don't i take you to the gym and how will we go to the city because i think you want to prospect the city a little bit i think that's somewhere that you can see yourself living i can see you living somewhere like over here right by the karaoke bar so maybe that's something that we can think about but in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and hit up this gym right here and 
And I think, you guys, before we even get started, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give Mercury her young adult makeover. So let me hop into Cass real quick and I will be right back with a more grown up Mercury Berry. Okay, you guys. So I have went ahead and made over Mercury to reflect her new life stage of young adulthood. So I'm going to take you guys through all of her outfits. And oh my God, can I just say that she's like one of the most stunning Sims ever? She's so beautiful. Beautiful. But let's take a look at her here. So here she is, you guys, all done. As you can see, I have grown out her hair. So her hair is really long now, which I love so much. I gave her a nice pair of wide, comfy jeans and a nice dark gray shirt. And she's just so beautiful, looking a little more grown, a little less teenager. I love this. So let's go through all of her outfits, you guys. So of course, we're looking at her every day. Here is her formal look. I even gave her gray lipstick, okay? Normally I don't, but I was feeling freaky. Her athletic wear, her sleepwear, her party attire, her swimsuit, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. And that's her all done, you guys. She's looking so grown up. Let me know what you guys think about Mercury's new look down below because next episode, we're gonna be moving on to gray number one. Okay, so we are back at the gym. She is gonna go ahead and get her workout on. She does wanna chat with Hanako, so maybe we'll We'll invite Hana to come work out with us. We'll give her a shout, see what she says. All right, so she is on her way over. That's fantastic. So there she is. So maybe we will go ahead and invite her to work out with us. There is a werewolf running around in here. So everyone is just kind of losing their mind right now. We're gonna call Hana over. Come over here, Hana. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her a little bit. We can discuss our fears with her. Like we need to conquer this fear. Like it has been going on for so long. She's telling us to relax. It's all gonna be okay. So she also wants to be in a dirty environment and she wants to listen to pop music. I don't know if there's a radio here anywhere. I don't think there is, but maybe we'll go ahead and shoot around with her a little bit. She is about to hit at level 10 of her fitness skills. So we'll let her do this for a while. And she's only 50% done for her next work day. Anako does not want to play basketball at all. She is still a teenager, so maybe I will age her up. Oh yeah, she's 34 days over. Okay, girl, I've been a teen for too long. Welcome to young adulthood, queen. There you go, much better. All right, Mercury has, wait, she's completed the aspiration already? No. Whoa, dude, that's crazy. Easy. Okay, that didn't take long at all because she was such an active teen. Absolutely crazy. Who is this? Cleo. Let's say hi. Mercury is so friggin' ripped. She is such a little sporty queen. I love her. Okay, well, I feel like we're just gonna breeze through Grey Jen, you guys. I think the hardest part will be getting her through her career and obviously parenting. So that's great. We love that. All right, I'm gonna have her do a quick little workout here on the treadmill. And then I'm gonna have her shower and then head home. Looks like Rory is here too. We can say hello. Is this our fitness trainer? Who is this? Viviana. All right, we can say hello. Maybe we'll encourage her to work out. Werewolves literally everywhere. Who is this? Another Volkov. There's Volkovs everywhere. Rory is so babely, you guys. I just love her. She's ambitious and hot headed. Fantastic. She's posing too. Girl, work it. Oh, yeah, queen. All right, I'm gonna have her come down and hit the showers. She's all broken. No. Okay. She's going to go sing in the shower. We might as well get that up. That's another thing I forgot we got to do. We got to sing with her. So that might take a while. Sing it, girl. Sing it, girl. All right. So with that, I'm going to have her head home. She decides she's going to do push-ups in this puddle first. Mercury, you're crazy. All right. We finally got her to finish doing push-ups. She's going to head home now. So she's home. I'm going to have her go ahead and make dinner for the fam here. We'll make some fish tacos. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her makeover so much. So Dory, you need to pay your bills, girl. And we'll get the mail while we're here also. We got a bunch of toys and some seeds. I'm just gonna sell everything. Mercury has dinner ready for when everyone gets home. Everyone's gonna come and eat. Come grab some of my girl, Soleil. You guys need to stop leaving plates here. It's making me insane. Who left the omelet outside? Come on, berries. All right. Let's put this away. I'm gonna get Mercury to do the laundry. Search these pockets and let's go ahead and wash these clothes. I'm gonna have Dory regain her passion for her job. I don't really like that it does that with her because this is obviously like her dream job. So Mercury is getting a little bit sleepy.
sleepy. So I'm going to have her finish this and head to bed. All right, girl, let's go ahead and hang those up. Mercury, I'm going to get you to practice your singing for just a little bit before bed. Oh, she's so beautiful, you guys. I'm obsessed with her. Oh, she's farting too. Good girl. I guess your ass wanted to sing, you know? The more voices, the better. You know what I'm saying? We have her singing almost three and a half. She has a lot of skills, but they're all like kind of low, but that's okay. I'm going to let her energy get right into the red and then I'll send her to sleep. All right, girl. Very good. Way to tough it out, queen. Good night. Dory's going to go anytime, you guys. Ugh. She does have to get up to pee, though. I'm going to use the toilet, girl. And then we have to fix our vacuum. Oh, the Instafix is so good. No! No, 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 no. Oh, no. Guys, no. Play a Sam from birth to death. Oh, my God. Mercury, get out of bed. Mercury, get out of bed. Get out of bed. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, Grandma. I can't plead for her either because she's too afraid of death. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, guys. No, it's the end of an era. Oh, my God. Okay, let's mourn our mom. And then we have to bring her oh, to the cemetery. Oh, God, no. Oh, man, I hate this. I'm going to have her try to discuss her fears with Grim himself and see if that does anything. Uh, Grim is flirting with us right now. What the hell? Okay, bye, Grim. See you later. Okay, we got to put mom in our inventory here. Ugh. All right, let's take Soleil. Let's head over to Newcrest. Let's head over to the Berry Cemetery with our little sister. All right, you guys, we are here. First thing that we are going to do is mourn our Joan. We're going to have both of them mourn Joan. Get rid of this tombstone. And we're going to put Mom here. All right, guys, we have put Dory down. I'm going to go into build mode and put all of her things on her tombstone here. Warren is giving us a call saying, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Let's get breakfast at the restaurant so we can talk about it. I can't right now, Warren, but that's so extremely sweet. We went ahead and put one of her six some crystals here and a picture of her and her mom. And we're going to go ahead and one more time mourn Dory. Oh, my poor sweet girl. Oh, so devastated. And this is where she vows to be the best parent she could possibly be, starting with raising her kid sister who just lost her mother. And this is where Mercury's story starts, you guys. Guys. And before we can start her story, we need to move her into her own great place. And I think I am going to move her into the city. And I think that's where her chapter is going to begin. I'm going to juggle for mom one last time. And then she's going to head on home. A nice walk in the rain. Poor angel. You're going to be okay, girl. You are going to be okay. I'm going to pack her guitar. I'm also going to get rid of a bunch of this stuff here. A bunch of stuff she doesn't need. It has a whole rocket in her inventory. That's $9,000. Maybe I'll keep the bike. You might like that. We'll keep her high school diploma. We'll keep the Christmas tree in the picture of her grandma and her mom. Take her microphone too. Everything else can pretty much stay. I am going to grab all of Soleil's bedroom stuff. I might also take her workout machine. This is her final farewell. Her final farewell to her mom. Oh my God, you poor angel. I'm actually going to take her desk too because I like this desk. She can stop crying, you guys. Like I feel so bad for her. So I think when Soleil gets back from school. We're going to take her and we're going to go ahead and start our new chapter. She's making herself some coffee right now. I am going to have her go ahead and do a little bit of singing. Sing your little heart out, girl. She is so incredibly sad, you guys. I'm going to get her to go for a jog. Clear her mind. This is what Grandma Phoenix used to do when she was really sad. Toss the spandex on, queen. Run that sadness away, girl. I am not going to miss this flickering. Good riddance to you. All right, Soleil is done at school. So we're going to go ahead and move our household. We're going to head into the city here. And I want to live in this area. Let's see what we got here. I and mean, this one here looks really nice. I renovated these a long time ago. And I don't remember what I did to them. This one here is pretty nice, but I think I like this one. 
I don't know. I can't decide. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one here. This quaint apartment's generous windows are front row seats for watching the city's dwellers. The space is perfect living quarters for a small group of roommates needing easy access to the center of the bustling city. It has lively neighbors though. There's often a party. That's annoying. I don't like that. What about this one? This is Penny Pizzazz's old apartment. Maybe we will go for this one. All right, let's go for this one. We got to evict these guys though. Evict. Sorry about it. And it leaves us with a lot of money actually. So that's okay. Yeah, I did a good job with this. Go past me. Look how cute it is though. But this one's just not going to do guys. I need two bedrooms. Past me did some great work in here. Okay. There just won't be enough room for them both to sleep. I'm dumb and didn't even look at the bedrooms. So let's go to this one. We'll just have to deal with the lively neighbors. It's going to be annoying, but whatever. And I like that it actually costs more because I like grinding for the money. I don't like it being too easy, you know, plus I don't think Mercury's job is going to pay very well. I like making it a little more challenging, you know? Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit better. How cute this place is too. Okay, past me. This is already kind of gray too, fantastic. Uh, excuse me, is this a picture of Warren? Warren, was this your house before? Okay, that's okay. We're gonna have to renovate in here anyway. But I can see this being Alay's room. It's very cute. It's very cute. The bathroom is already already kind of black and white. The kitchen's kind of gray themed. That's cute. It already comes with a coffee pot, sink, dishwasher, microwave. Okay. The living room is tiny, but it's cute. It's kind of gray theme. Okay. So we'll just have to do a yellow theme in here and just kind of make this a little more gray and obviously get rid of this. Okay. We can definitely do that, you guys. And she is literally right by the karaoke bar. So we we absolutely love that. She can see it from her window. I have found my sim self in the wild. I don't know what I'm wearing, but that's okay. I'm going to try to do a few interactions with Soleil because she is feeling very sad. I'm going to adopt her as a care dependent as well. And now I can do a lot of parenting things so I can encourage her for her good grades. Good job, girl. Now do some very nice parenting interactions. Let's teach her to say sorry and how to say please and thank you. Oh, these two are just so sweet. Oh, adorable. I don't know what her parenting skill is. It's only two, barely two, but their friendship is going up. It's so cute. I'm also going to have to get a trash can for, oh, I do have one. Go past me. I barely have to redecorate it here. I love that for me. We're going to give her some family advice. Oh, doggo. Do we need a dog? I think we need a dog, you guys. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to have Mercury turn the thermostat on warmer because it is pretty cold. This place is so cute. How is it already gray? I swear to God I didn't do this, you guys. Oh, here we go. The neighbors are starting with their bullshit. We're going to go knock politely. Okay, we're not going to be too aggressive off the hop. Doesn't appear that anyone heard me. Okay, I guess I got to pound on the door. Oh, she's in a towel. Hi, Riley. Hi, I'm your neighbor. I'm going to give you a friendly introduction. They're adventurous, irresistible, and active. Okay. Can we complain about the noise like in a nice way? Like, is there a way to tell you to be quiet without being mean? Um, I don't think there is. So I am going to complain about the noise. Yeah, you're blah, blah, blahing me. Okay. I need you to shut up. Okay. I need you to just be quiet, Riley. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and assign this bed to Mercury and assign this one to LA. And I will go ahead and spruce up their rooms off camera to make them more themed. Lady, excuse me, get out. What are you doing in here? Get out. Turn off my radio. The hell out of my house, you little weirdo. I don't freaking think so. No trespassing, please. Disallow neighbors. I'm going to get you two to watch a movie together. You guys can watch the Super Kids movie. And I'm going to leave this one here, you guys. If you like today's episode, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from yours truly and hit that notification bell every time you want to be notified that I have uploaded a new video. You guys have a wicked day wherever you're at and I will catch you next time.